thinking to yourself, why do I want to use a designer? Well, because you can use us <laughs> as designers. That's one of the reasons why, because we're fun and we're easy to work with and we're knowledgeable, but there are really reasons why you do want to choose a designer. There are a lot of reasons, and I guess that's why I got into interior design, because when I was building my home, I appreciated the interior designers that helped me so much. And, you know, I wanted to be very involved in my design, as so many people do. Some people just want me to take over. Um, but most of us want to have some sort of say in it. And I, ju I just really wanted someone to come and say, yes, that will work, or no, that will, won't work. And in the long run, I think it saved me money because I was using the right color of paint. I was getting the perfect furniture for what I needed and and then I could progress with what they were telling me. Well, One of the keys I have found over the years is that you really have to connect with your designer and your designer should do what you want and create that for you instead of right. coming in and say you need to do this this and this and it needs to look like that. I think that's wrong. Right. You need to have your space, your space, and then right. the designer can help make it beautiful. And there are things that a designer has to find out about, and you've kind of written this up over here. I have. Okay. So, first of all, our, our first conversation, and I might as well also say, our um, Laura and I, our first uh, trip to your house will be for free. The first consultation is free. But what we're mostly doing in that first conversation is talking about you. The the use of your space, what you're going to be doing in the room, um, your style, um, how you want us to help you. I love that, knowing how they live. You need to know where the kids traffic points, all those kinds of things. You have focal point, traffic flow, use of the room, and conversation. Love that. Right. So let's just start with focal point. Every room needs to have a focal point. For a lot of us, at least in our living area, that's our fireplace. And I love that as a, as a focal point. But it can also be a window. It can be a great piece of art. It can be lighting. Yeah. Um, it can you know, we need to be specific about what the focal point is in the room, so your eye goes to something. And then the traffic club flow, you're looking at the way they use their home, right? Absolutely. So many times you walk in a room and you just don't know where to go because the furniture is not placed correctly. And a lot of times um, that's just a matter of knowing how to place furniture and what furniture pieces you need to make that space work. Well, and all furniture does not have to find, follow the outline of your walls because sometimes it's exactly. like that's where the sofa has to go, that's where the love seat has to exactly. go. No, pull it pull away. It away. <laughs> Put it at an angle. It had some, some pizzazz right. to it, so very fun. Okay. And one thing I love to do, or don't like people to do, is to buy furniture sets. Yes. I, it makes a room so much more interesting when you don't buy sets. Maybe you buy a couple chairs that look the same but you're not buying the sofa the love seat and the two chairs that match it just it makes it uninteresting in fact on that point we ought to show these chairs that are right next to your sign there are so much fun the valley outlet has overstock.com product at such affordable prices and finding pieces like this to go together with something you already have exactly. makes the room your home instead of making it look like the furniture right. store. And how fantastic are these chairs? So classic. These are Safavia. This ottoman, tufted ottomans mm -hmm. from Safavia. Beautiful. So very neutral in color. We have things that are very colorful and very uh, patterned, but you can find whatever you need right. and then even a reupholster if you want to. Okay, on down the list. So the next thing is the use of the room. What are you doing in that room? Sometimes our rooms have to function more than one function. Maybe they also are an office or a guest bedroom. So we have to um, manage how many tasks that room is actually doing. And that's a good point because so often, in fact, many of my clients do use this open area as an office and we want to hide right. that mess so we can find certain pieces that can just close up and hide or build specifically for that space. And a lot of us have very small spaces that we're working with, so we need to be very um, point, on point, on point yeah. about where we're storing and, and hiding, like you said. Exactly. Okay. And the last one is conversation. We've kind of already talked about this, but pulling your sofas and chairs away from the wall to make a good conversation so you're not too far away from each other and you're looking at each other. And in one space, one huge space, you can actually have two or three different conversation Absolutely. areas not that make it one. intimate. Okay. Absolutely. You have a computer program back here that we wanted to show. So if you have ideas and you just want to have Jerry go over maybe the space planning part yes. of it, you have furniture or you need furniture, she's going to do it right here. And I am a visual person and I think many people are, um, we can tell you what to do, but until you actually see it, it doesn't come to light. I had a friend that I was doing her home and she said, Jerry, will you just take an hour or so to put it on your computer so I can see it? And the great thing about my computer program is it will go into 3D. So I'm just going to show you. 
how this works. So I have her, her space plan right here, all her furniture in it, but then I can go to 3D and bring it up and it'll go to 3D. So she can kind of get an idea of what her furniture would look like in the space and then we can move it around as we need to. And then we could also add colors and different things and give you the whole idea of what wallpaper or other paint colors would do to that as well and then add the pieces that we find here at the store for her. Right and often you can actually go get the exact fabric and put it into your program which is really nice. Yeah so for those that are visually they, they need that visual right. that helps them we can do board and other kinds of things as well or just simply come out and help decorate your home so easy yeah. easy so however many, you need us exactly we're here for you so here at the valley outlet with the valley design right in the same store and we're located right next to peterson country store so come on in give us a call today thanks, thanks. <laughs>